How's it going, everyone? I want to talk about um, a stock that I was eyeing for and I didn't quite just get in, but I want to show you how beautiful this setup is. Now, did it make a massive gain? You know, no, it's not one of those massive gains, but this is kind of what the strategy I'm looking for. And if I do see um, price come back to this green band again, I would be really looking for an entry on this even though we we just hit this ema5 here you know it was it was a nice over 10 percent gain i saw it go over 17 percent pre-market i mean I'll, I'll just show you on a lower time frame this is your biggest moves are going to be your pre-market you know if we're going to be honest so right in here at 750 where a lot of people could trade this thing went up to 90 cents so you know if you're ever seeing something rise in the pre-market always take those gains this was a 37 percent gain potential um um, and then all throughout the market, yeah, it, it still gave you, you know, that 10 to 20%. And I always look for these type of gains. If it makes 10%, I'm out, I'm taking the gain, and I'm holding some for more of a home run hit. So, um, and I trail and stop it. But why did I like Wint? Why would I not have got in early like a lot of people? Well, if you look at Wint, the last time we touched the EMA5 was right here on 924. And that's... Um, that's just where the candle's hitting it, and any candle that doesn't hit this EMA5, which is this purple line, is your time distance. This wing, this thing was extremely oversold, extremely massive time distance. Look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We just now hit this EMA5. We know we will. It has to. That is your reversion to the mean. So when we're seeing this... Um, I had to be like, well, we're not going to take this trade unless we have this lower band being touched. And um, just because we hit this lower band doesn't mean it's it's an opportunity trade. we got to look for a low K value. None of these trades had a low K value. Look at this. We were at this lower band, barely missed it. We're at a 7. Right here's a 5. Right here's a 4. This is a 3. And then we started touching this band. And then we got a 3.40. I want to look, in my opinion, for pennies, i got to see near the 2. i got to see near the 2 because it, it happens a lot you started getting it right in this area here this 1.58 was the big oversold territory and then look we had that 30 percent correction bounce like I, that i showed you pre-market and how convenient it did that and now look even with that though our k is still at 2.92 this stochastic oscillator will save your butt a lot of the times i'm i'm trying to like you know if you you can't trade it just based on that you have to have all these three things you have to have your um time distance away from your ema5 and then the next thing is the ema10 which is this yellow um you have to have that green band being touched being pierced multiple candles touching it is even better i recommend that because that's where you get that explosive move as you can see when you hug this you you, you know i can see this easily going up more but um yeah let's check that ema10 out um the last time we did touch the 10 was actually way back here and this is this is what's making this a really good play i mean i'm using a laptop i got it's hard to scroll through this but way back in 828 we touched the you know ema10 so if you do your math you know anything that doesn't touch the ema10 in one month is long um so as you can see you know this is long 828 to 928 and then 928 to 1016 um, we're almost getting there to two months time frame so what we can do is we can look at well what's the risk versus reward um i would love to see this back at this lower band here if it hugs it a little more that would be totally fine and as as you as you can see here this is you know a 44 percent return i love that and obviously it's going to fluctuate down if we don't hit it the same day this even this is going to keep going down and down and down but we know what is long and that's all the trading is is probabilities we know what is an abnormal amount of time you're right we knew this ema5 was going to get hit we want to wait short wait till we hug the band a couple of times we want to wait till we have a low k value and there you go you had a 30 percent pop bam bam and done right it was awesome but um so as we're doing this strategy, that, that's what I'd like to look for. Um, kind of a same, I missed went, but I made massive gains on other pennies. So it's not like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm a little, you know, mad about it. I was in other stocks that moved, you know, ADTX, that one moved 70% when I, when I got it and sold. And then another one moved over 30%. So, um, yeah, I'm totally fine with it. But um, this is, I just want to make this video that I am watching this, I, you know, now that it, I, you know, I'm, it's on my radar, but you can see exactly what I'm looking for. Now that we touch this EMA5, remember though, we reset the time distance. Anything that don't touch the EMA5 and seven daily candles is long, but we can kind of ignore 
ignore that and be like, okay, well, the EMA 10 is due. That's our next target. But am I going to take this just out of nowhere? No. I want to make sure, you know, do we come back and touch this ATR4? And I'll give you an example of one that I, um, I've played before, and that's Peggy. You see how... Um, Important it is to wait for this time distance. Right here, we touch the EMA-5. You don't just take it the minute you hit this lower band. This lower band is a buy zone, and it's there to say, hey, if we're not touching it, then we don't you know, take any entry. But as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's where we took the entry with the team, and we made this massive move right in here. And this is kind of the same pattern I'm seeing. It got me my 10 to 20% margin, 10% um, I took, and then as you can see, same pattern, right? We touched the CMA5, we had some time distance, and it's okay if it does this. And if Wynn does this, this is fine. But look, look where your entry was, though. Right in here. You see why we had this ATR4, this band here, this green band, colored green, because that's a buy zone. And then when it did that, look what Peggy did. It touched that EMA 10, and it actually went a little more and did a 50% gain. After it does that, it doesn't even matter what the heck it, it does anymore. I don't care. We did our targets because that's the, the bulletproof of this system. We know what our targets are. We're not greedy, and um, we just keep taking those consistent profits. Now, can we do that same kind of thing that Peggy did where, you know, I'm just trying to use an example where we just go down and, and then we finally touch this lower band? That's what I would love to see. And then we target this EMA 10. Um, yeah, this is uh, Wint. I hope you guys enjoyed this analysis. This is just keep it simple, stupid. Do exactly what the chart shows you. Do you have discipline to wait it out? A lot of people I've noticed, you know, that try to get in early, like, you know, I, I don't see it going down any further. And then it does. And then you're like, man, why did I just follow the system? If you guys want to join the premium Discord, um, you guys are more than welcome to join. You're going to have you. You know, you're going to learn how to do this system. You're going to learn how to set up your charts. You're going to be more important in a community that does this um, day in, day out. But hit the link down below in the YouTube comments below. It'll say join the premium Discord for my alerts and system. And it'll take you to this free chat landing page. Um, if you want to subscribe to the highest tier, all you have to do is hit day trade alerts right in here. And you'll get access to everything. And it's so cheap that you guys are going to love it. Um, but if you hit server shop here, you can kind of see like the different things. What I talked about is swing trading. I personally... Personally, I'm a day trader. I do both. Day and swing trading plus is 12 bucks a month, and you get access, like I said, to everything: entries, exits, my journal, uh, swing trading education, day trading education, and all. But um, it's a very nice community. What this thing is focuses on is um, reversions to the mean. We want to. Why I like these is when you catch reversals, those are your big candles. Um, a lot of people like to chase once the move's already happening. This is you're getting in before the move happens, and that's why it's so easy to follow along to these type of plays because we're not trading hopium a lot of people will buy it once it hits here but how convenient that's a big rejection point so they buy it here just to see it go down um so yeah this is one of the best ways to trade pennies best way to trade any type of stocks 12 bucks a month will get you access to everything if you subscribe on your computer it's a um it's a flat rate um, if you do it on your uh, phone, and it will get, it will charge you an iOS fee a, a little bit more. But yeah, you you guys can read the testimonies right in here. You can see how profitable a lot of people are. Also, do avoid scammers. I'll never trade your accounts. Message you, DM you first. So do keep that in mind. Hope to see you guys here. Like I said, easiest way to uh, subscribe is hit day trade alerts here. Um, if you have an Android, do do it on your computer. It's best if you do it on your computer or just do it on your phone. Uh, through your uh, Google if you want to, and it'll work on your phone after that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. This is my analysis on Wint. I, I am bullish on it, but I do want to wait for my entry to come. We have a low K value. I want to look for that ATR4 buy zone, and I'll be in, guys. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Peace out, and I'll see you guys in the Discord. Happy trading.